just next level. Some of the stuff that you would like halftime team talks, like I was skippering in French and it wasn't going well at halftime. You'd say, Johnny, Braveheart, what is it? Show everybody, Braveheart. And he would repeat the phrase 15 times. And I'm sitting, he's looking directly at me and everybody else in the change room, I can see all the French kids, all the foreign guys pissing themselves <laughs> at me because I can't say anything. <laughs> Uh, Johnny, any, any examples similar to that? No, for me, it's just the looseness of France and how random coaches can end up in position. Like we had, again, he's a lovely man, but just not on the right level. A guy called Serge Mijas, who was our coach at Cast. His nickname before he arrived at the club was the relegator. He'd relegated Biarritz, he'd relegated La Rochelle. And then he came to Cast and we finished tied, I think, third bottom and stayed up by one point. It was Bayonne that went down, but... In France, it's just a merry-go-round of the same coaches. But if you can persuade one guy with the money, the president, that you can come in and do a good job, you get that job. So, like, I've gone from having a vision of French flair and jouer, jouer, and then coming to France. And it's like having somebody's mad uncle as your coach. Sometimes you get there and you can't believe it. My last coach at Bayonne before Yannick Brew was Vincent Echetto. Vincent Echetto, again, lovely guy, but it was just put as much air on the ball as you can and throw the thing around. That was our game plan. So... Johnny, I've, gone from, on I've your got a energy? question. I've got a question for you for Vincent Echetto. I want to know if that's true or not. I heard a story because he's, he's, he's a big party guy. He's a bit of a party animal. And I've heard a story yeah. that at one point he was so desperate to get the team on a piss up that he sent an official invitation from the club saying, oh, sorry, we've got like a team meeting on a Sunday morning somewhere in Bayonne. And so he got the boys all to stay after the game just to go on the piss so that the wives were like, yeah, no, sorry, we've got to stay. Is that true or not? Yeah. He also, I mean, he organized, he organized tens festivals for boys in Mauritius. So took them on like a training camp to Mauritius, but it basically was a 10 day piss up. Um, he is an awesome guy, but again, not what you want directing or pushing an organization to be the best rugby team. But if you want to have fun and get on with somebody, he was amazing. Um, really good. I think he's now a consultant up in Nantes, I think in Federal One and doing a bit of work for Canal Plus, but hilarious. And the guys that you had Serge Mias, then you had... We had Vincent at Bayonne. We had Pierre Berbizier, who came in and took over from Vincent for a little bit. And again, just next level. Some of the stuff that you would like, halftime team talks, like I was skippering in French and it wasn't going well at halftime. You'd say, Johnny, Braveheart, what is it? Show everybody, Braveheart. And he would repeat the phrase 15 times. And I'm sitting, he's looking directly at me and everybody else in the change room. I can see all the French kids, all the foreign guys pissing themselves at me because I can't say anything. I'm thinking, it's, well, it's a very loosely based story on an old war. and stuff. I can't say anything. I just sit there quietly and he keeps going, 15, show us, Johnny, Braveheart. Braveheart, what is it? And that, so that gives you an idea. There's different vibes, different coaches. There's some absolutely top class coaches in France. There's some crack ups as well, but it's good fun. It's, it's all good fun. It's, it's a great place and some of the coaches are, are top, top drawer.